hello my sweets welcome back to beauty meets diy so today's video is going to be a little long but i do hope that you enjoy nonetheless this video is dedicated to all my fashionistas um, and it's inspired by chanel which i love and uh, this clip right here is this crystal light that i was inspired to create this online goes for over 130 dollars and we're going to recreate it for less than 10 dollars so what you're going to need is this pack of two, this eight inch wreath that the Dollar Tree uh, just started carrying recently. And as you can see, it's dark in color, but I'm still gonna go ahead and spray paint it black. So coming up, uh, this is where it gets a little tricky because you definitely, I highly, highly recommend, do not make the mistake that I did, uh, using these tools that are not meant to cut through hard wire so you're definitely going to need some kind of a tool that's going to cut through this hard wire so i'm showing you here those little connectors there and between those two you're going to come down two inches in so two inches down or in there and then two inches in because we want to kind of replicate that uh Chanel logo with the C's and the C's come in a little bit more and you'll see what I mean as I go along So I'm just gonna eyeball it, but you can definitely mark it there where you want to start cutting So again guys like I said I was using this and I was a hot hot mess all the paint was chipping off I do recommend that before you cut your wire uh, that you cut your wire first and then you spray paint it so I was struggling and struggling with this tool here and because I was going back and forth, I kind of disconnected the wreath a little bit and then later on I had to uh, glue it back together. But as you can see, this is not meant to cut wire. Then here I'm, you know, I try using these shears from the Dollar Tree and again, the back and forth and the struggle was so real. <laughs> But in the end, I got it done, but um, it could have been much easier had I planned ahead. So as you can see here, um, I did cut it. You want to go ahead and use like a sanding block from the Dollar Tree because it's a little sharp there. You, as you can see, it's uneven because I was struggling and I went ahead and applied glue, let that dry. And I just try to work with what I had at this point. Nonetheless, it came out pretty decent in the end considering. Yeah, so all those little connectors there can easily come apart if you're not careful. Okay, so now we're going to grab our diamond acrylic gems from the uh, Dollar Tree and we're going to glue them a little, you know, out. So in other words, so they can cover the ends of the wire there after you have sanded them. And you want to do that for both. So now I'm just kind of playing around with it, positioning it to see how I want to, you know, uh, glue this together or, you know, I'm going to use zip ties as you can see coming up and I'm just putting a little dab of glue just to kind of help me mark where I want. You want a little space in between those two C's, uh, not too much and not too little, just you want, you know, the best you can to replicate the logo. So here I'm taking these small, thin, black a zip ties that you can also find at the Dollar Tree and so you want to just move it around position it and then you know do your final you know tighten it up and then snip off the ends and then here I'm doing uh, the same on the other end and you can definitely use some wire as well So I highly recommend throughout this project that you use your strongest glue, whether it's E6000 or your Gorilla Glue, your Fix All from the Dollar Tree, along with your hot glue. For the video purpose, I'm going to be using the hot glue, but believe me when I tell you that they do pop out. And so if you want this to be a permanent thing, go ahead and use your strongest glue. So I'm going to go ahead and continue uh, all along the rows there and applying my acrylic gems. If you see that I have a gap, it's because those little spacers or those connectors there that you see, they're in their way. And so it does not allow me to glue a, a gem. So later on, I'm going to come in and with a smaller acrylic gem that I have in my stash, I'm going to fill in those little gaps and I'll show you what else I do. So that's what I mean right there when I show you about those little gaps. I have these smaller diamonds that I'm going to put in there. And then I'm going to fill in the little spaces there with the Dollar Tree stickers there, little diamond stickers. And so this is what it's looking like. When you apply these stickers, I do recommend that you use 
um, your hot glue as well. So now what we want to do is that we want to incorporate our lights and I'm going to end up using for the the C or the logos right now I'm going to be using two of Dollar Tree uh, fairy lights and you want to start from the top there and work your way down so that in the end in the bottom you're left with the box of the lights and I'm gonna link down below in Amazon a link to fairy lights that have a very small and very thin battery pack I really I plan on ordering those because I really don't like these bulky ones they're really hard to hide but this is what I had but yeah you want them to at the end you want them to be in the bottom of your C's so here we're going to take these silver platters from the Dollar Tree. I spray, I spray painted one of them in just around the border and I left the uh, middle silver and then this one I just turned it upside down and painted it black um, and because that's the parts that are going to show. And then along the inside there, the rim, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of these diamond stickers. So here, um, you know, I'm just using my hot glue, but again, this is metal, so you definitely want to use your strongest glue so that it can stay together. When you go ahead and glue this on, make sure that you align it and that everything is, you know, straight and um, aligning. So now this is another type of string light from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and incorporate that inside my tray so that the light can come through. You guys have seen me this before, uh, do this before in my previous videos when I do tables. And I'm going to go ahead and start applying my acrylic diamond gems and for this I do again recommend that you do your you use your strongest glue because they will pop out and so this is how I'm going to apply them and then I'm going to go and continue to go all around So here I'm using some of those wooden blocks that you've seen me use um, in my previous DIYs. You can find these at Dollar Tree. I'm going to put two of them flat on the platter and then the other two they're just standing on top like that. Make sure you find the center point of your platter there and then place them in the middle because this is where your logo is going to rest on. So the bottom two are just laying flat on their back, if that makes sense. And then um, the top one, you'll notice that I did glue it um, flush to the bottom one, but I do recommend that you glue it on a little further out, just a tad. This way, when you when your logo leans on it, it leans upright, whereas mine was kind of leaning you know a little back but not too much but you know the goal is to just have it standing up completely straight so you can go ahead and apply more glue there and so now we're gonna go uh, and, uh, and reassure that a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to hide our uh, lights and we're gonna do that by placing them underneath the tray so again, I'm going to use a total of, uh, well, it's a total of three lights. And so now you want to go ahead and this is where we're going to hide our lights discreetly and just make sure that when you glue them on, they're facing outward so that you can go ahead and replace your batteries. So that's important, you guys. Okay, just make sure that that happens. And so now um, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next DIY. And at the end, I will show you all DIYs together, you guys. So here I am using my white Waverly chalk paint from Walmart and this I'm using one of these seasonal plaques. A Dollar Tree always comes out with a different plaque for every season. This is the fall one. You want to go ahead and give it a wash of this white paint. You don't have to cover it completely unless you're going to be, um, you know, mod podging some clear white copy paper. But in this case I'm using some scrapbook paper that I picked up at um, Michael's and I pre-cut my uh, pieces and you can go ahead and use whatever paper you want um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this pretty paper that I saw at Michael's
So again, if you're using, uh, you know, scrapbook, you can go ahead and skip uh, the step of painting your plaque. So now what I decided to you to do was use my um, rhinestone wrap. You can also find this at the Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to go ahead and give it an extra touch just to define my books, so to speak. And this is what it's looking like so far. So all these letters that I have here are from the Dollar Tree. But remember, you guys, that you can find any type of letters at Walmart or at your local craft store. So as you can see, these letters were a little larger. So what I had to do later on, I'll show you. I had to remove my rhinestone wrap, apply the letters underneath, and then go ahead and recover the uh, plaque with the rhinestone wrap where I had it. You'll see what I mean. For this Prada, I had enough space in top and bottom, so that was not an issue. But as far as the Chanel, um, the the letters were a little taller. So this is what I mean. So in this case, I messed up that other piece, and so I just went ahead and uh, printed out a Gucci, uh, the Gucci word, uh, and printed that out. And now I'm just applying it to with Mod Podge. So again, this is another option that you don't have to use letters. You can always print it out. And then you want to go ahead and cover everything and give it a one or two coats of your Mod Podge just to seal everything in place. So I went ahead online again, you guys, you can just Google uh, Google images, you know, Chanel bottle, clip art or something like that. I went ahead and print that out too. We're just going to use the body uh, part of the perfume bottle and you'll see why. I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And then again, I'm using that beautiful pink kind of rose gold glitter paper or stock paper. And then I'm just going to glue it to the inside there. That's just what I wanted to do. And I went ahead and glued the perfume bottle to a piece of cardboard just to give it more stability. And then with that second uh, copy that I made, I'm just I just clipped off or I cut off the little you know the uh, logo part or the Chanel perfume name, and then I glued on there. And now I'm just adding this beautiful black uh, rhinestone wrap all around. So I'm going to go ahead and repurpose this um, canvas that I used on a previous DIY. I didn't really want to go to, you know, for it to go to waste and I gave it a light spray paint of white paint. And as you can see, my plaque is going to cover it perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and use my hot glue. But again, I recommend you use a stronger glue just to make sure that this doesn't uh, come apart. And if you guys don't have a canvas, you can always double up on the foam board from Dollar Tree and you can use that as well. So here I decided that I wanted to put my perfume bottle kind of off-centered there. That's just where I wanted it. And I had these flowers and I trimmed them down all the way to the bottom so they can, you know, lay good on a flat surface. And um, these are just some flowers that I had. And I was just trying to give this like a pretty 3D effect, kind of like those, uh, you know, canvas art that you s similar ones that you see online. So for uh, this, I'm going to go ahead and use two of the string lights from the Dollar Tree. I do recommend that you glue them right above that wooden ledge. That way it's flush to the canvas. And again, make sure that your little opening is facing outward so you can replace your uh, batteries and I'm just guiding myself from the silhouette and the shadow of the plaque uh, just to kind of guide me as to where I want to glue my lights so they can illuminate on the other side that way and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue it on with some hot glue just make sure that your hot gun is not super super hot that it doesn't damage your canvas, but it should be okay.
so I got this beautiful pearl very long strand I can't remember where I got it I want to say it was Michaels maybe one or two years ago they usually come out around the seasonal uh, time of the year you can find these also at Joann's Joann sells you know pearl strands jewelry even Michaels you know pretty much anywhere or you can also use the loose pearls from Dollar Tree or you can use uh, Michaels has kind of like those pearl flat back stickers that you can also apply with it here um, that's an, another alternative but I do recommend that you use a strong glue to hold these and that you glue each and every one of your pearls uh, so that way they can align and as you glue them make sure everything is aligning and and it's straight so now we're going to move on to our next DIY and this is the uh, one that Dollar Tree carries it's a small one they also have a bigger one but I did want a something in the middle of both like a medium size so I went to Michaels and I got this one it's ten dollars for a pack of six but they were on sale for five dollars so again um, this is uh, art minds by uh, Michaels and it was a pack of six and it was on sale for five dollars you're gonna need these I spray painted two of them black and then the other two I left clear and I also went ahead in Michaels and I picked up these glittered um, letters stickers they're so pretty the black one is also glitter you can't tell but um, it is and again you guys if you don't have these stickers you can always um, print out the word Chanel and then cut out the le letters it's probably gonna be a little harder and a more tedious um, so if you could find the stickers that'd be great um, I did find these and they were the perfect size And that's the silver one and of course I also did the black one and then coming up um, those I printed out the uh, Chanel logo as well and you can also cut that out and mod podge it to your ornament uh, and then I'm um, just showing you here that I'm filling it up with some feathers the possibility uh, possibilities are endless you guys and filling up these um, you know balls or ornaments <laughs> I had these um, pearls on hand and then later on I did go ahead and mix them with the acrylic diamonds so I had the diamonds and the pearls together in there again Dollar Tree does carry now these loose pearls I'm just showing you different options on what you can use to fill them sequins uh, tube confetti these are all at the Dollar Tree you can also use crushed glass you can find this at Michaels and even at Michaels you can also find this decorative filler so basically anything that you want and to match your decor and here I'm Mod podging the uh, logo as well I found these beautiful beautiful pearl strands at um, Michaels I absolutely love them I think they went perfect with the theme and so I went ahead and I decorated my candle holders um, this way And then I also decided that I wanted to outline the logo. I'm sorry, I'm off camera there, but that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> For my next DIY and my final DIY, I was inspired by this, I guess, clothing tag. Or, and, uh, yeah, I guess one of those uh, clothing tags and uh, that, you know, come with your clothing when you buy them. And so when I saw this at uh, Dollar Tree it reminded me of something like that so I decided to use it to recreate it and so now I'm giving it two or three coats I just want to make sure that I cover the surface again with my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm so sorry you guys coming up I completely lost footage of me doing this DIY I was so upset I'm gonna go through and explain to you step by step what I ended up doing this is the end result once the paint dried i went ahead and i printed out online to the size that i wanted the chanel logo in pink as you can see i cut it out and i mod podged it to the plaque i then went ahead and took dollar tree's um letter sticker sticker letters and applied it there and then along the edge there i took some black glitter that you can find at walmart anywhere and i mod podged the edges and then right there I applied these beautiful beautiful pearl diamond uh, sticker strands that Dollar Tree is now carrying they're absolutely gorgeous and those loose pearls those are just these that I found at uh, Michaels they're so pretty and remember guys I got those with my coupon 
And then along the edge here, I just covered it with the rhinestone wrap that you can find at the Dollar Tree and even these little fake pearls, you can find them at Walmart at a Dollar Tree. And then you want to finish off with a two or three coats of Mod Podge. And this is the end result, you guys. I'm absolutely in love, okay? This turned out gorgeous. Doesn't that look like a uh, tag that comes with your clothes, <laughs> with, your, with your clothing when you buy it? And I love the canvas. I love the detail of the pearl edge. Um, the only thing I wish I would have just given the canvas a little more background color, but I think that sometimes I get a little intimidated and I chicken I, uh, off, but I think next time I'm just gonna try and do it. And this is our light, you guys. I love it. Uh, can you believe that we recreated this for $10 or less when the real one goes for over $130? And here are my candle holders. I love the way these turned out. I love the black with the pearl. It's so Chanel inspired. I love it. And again, you guys, you can definitely use uh, real candles. You just you would just have to place a little plate on top and then use your real candles. That's not a problem. And then this one, as you can see, I outlined my logo uh, as well. And yeah, so just remember you guys that I'm just here to give you inspiration. You can definitely recreate this with your favorite designer, whether it's Louis Vuitton or anything else. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone.